he is a great friend of ours here at Rogers TV. He is a volunteer. He's manning one of the cameras, but not for this segment, because he is also a cinematographer and director. Let's give a huge round of applause to Brendan Reesma! <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? <laughs> good, good, glad to be here. Yeah, thanks for being here. Anytime. <laughs> this is so cool, because I'm um, used to seeing Brendan at uh, that camera, at camera three, and now he's on the couch. Yeah, different different perspective for sure. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to chat about what's going on in your cinematography and director world. Sweet, sweet. Um, what's what's the upcoming project that so you've got going So, I have a big event coming up on October 8th and 9th. It's actually through Ryerson University. They're actually holding their big annual Six Fest where they have a bunch of um, big artists from Toronto, across the world, come and put on a show for their students at Ryerson. So, this time it's a two-day event. They're doing it on a Saturday, sorry, a Sunday and a Monday. Kind of weird dates, but it just kind of works with the surprise artists that are coming up. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. It's going to be a two-day event, and I'm pretty excited for it. It's one of the bigger events that I get to cover every year, so I'm looking very forward to it. Cool. So is it um, uh, a show that is like geared towards music, or are there other things going on at the show? Like, um, It's, it's very and... geared towards music for sure, but it's also very much geared towards not only the Ryerson student body, but the Toronto student body. They're trying to get everyone unified with the six, because Drake promotes the six as being his city and Ryerson very much likes to kind of be the school of Toronto. So they're okay. just trying to get everyone involved as, as one community to come out for a really cool event. Great, nice. And um, are, did you go to Ryerson or you went to York? No, I actually went to Seneca at York. I did a okay. two-year program there for broadcasting television. Okay. And now I'm a full-time cinematographer doing Amazing. my own stuff and absolutely loving it. Cool. And you just recently filmed a music video with Rajan from yes. Brampton. Talk to yes. us about that. So uh, I did a really cool project, I think it was maybe about three weeks ago, uh, with a good friend of mine that I actually met through my program at school named Rajan. Um, he thought that I was a talented cinematographer, and then I found out that he was a musician. I thought he was a very talented musician. I said, hey, buddy, like, we should, we should do something together sometime for sure. And he maybe gave me a call a few weeks ago saying he had the budget for a music video, and I said, all right, well, I got some free time. And, Let's do something cool. So uh, we had a couple production meetings. And I believe it was about a two-day shoot. And then okay. editing was extremely fast. Post maybe did it within, I think, two days. And then, yeah, we released it on the, I think it was the 6th of September. Okay. And it's been doing great so far. It has about 50,000 views on YouTube. Wow. And yeah, I'm very excited for it. It's one of the better things I've done this year. So I'm very excited about it. Amazing. And is it um, being broadcasted anywhere else other than online? Um, it's just on web for now. In order to get it on TV with much, they said it had to be shot on red red cameras. Okay. We shot it on a Canon C100 and Sony A7S, so they're very web-based cameras. Right. But the next one for sure is going to make it on Sweet. TV, absolutely. Good for you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just wondering, like, how did you guys come up with the concept? Was it based on the song? I mean, the, the lyrics of the song, or was it something that you guys that you came up with with Rajan, or something he always? It was. It of? was a bit of both. We actually had a completely different concept for the video at first, but there were some complications with permits, locations, and stuff right. like that. And then once we sat down with the director and we had a huge production meeting, we kind of came out with an alternative that we thought was going to work a little better, still okay. fit the song, and it, I think it turned out better than what we'd originally had planned, so I'm very, very happy about it. Cool, nice. And so, aside from the, the show at Ryerson and the music video you just shot, is there anything else that you're looking forward to doing before the end of the year? Um, I'm doing a cool, cool shoot with some friends of mine who skate for West 49 and do professional skateboarding. Nice. Um, I'm doing a lot of cool uh, cinematography with them, just very on and off uh, between my work schedule right now. Okay. And uh, we're hopefully going to compile all that footage together at the end of the year and put together a really cool video, just basically highlighting um, the underground skateboarding scene in Mississauga, Toronto. And yeah, just do some, some cool stuff there. And I'm very excited for that as well, because that's kind of where I started with cinematography, was right. filming extreme sports, skateboarding, rollerblading. That's and, awesome. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for cool. it. Cool. Well, congratulations, Brandon. Thank you so much for being on the show with us. Thank and you for having me. Check him out online.